He was in a fight with a couple other people. And then uh, I walked up and I saw my friends were in that fight. And I, like, started fighting. I don't know. We were all hammered. <laughs> we were, like, 19. And then we, like, backed into each other, like, fucking Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. <laughs> and then we realized we were on the same team. And then we became friends. You both got naked and used towels to whip the back. <laughs> <laughs> we locked arms and swung each other. It was pretty cool. On three or on go? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Dude, we're fucking back. We're back, dude. How was your holly jolly holiday? It was, uh, it was jolly. It was pretty jolly. You just get back in? You, you uh, went to, a day or two ago, yeah. You went to Hawaii? Yeah, I was in Hawaii visiting the fam. My whole family's in Hawaii now. Yeah, your mom's Moana. <laughs> yeah, people don't know that, but this show, this show has done so well that I moved my parents to a <laughs> volcano, so they're doing well. That's my cool. my dad just surfs every day, and my mom uh, picks coconuts. <laughs> it's pretty pretty good life. Yeah, uh, I've never- Santa was good to me this year, dude. I got a bed. You got a like a mattress? Well, I kind of had to go halves with my mom on a new bed, but yep. that counts as Santa did pretty good. Are you guys going half sleeping on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She shares the bed with me. I bet you get the bottom half like a little doggy. <laughs> no, dude. I'm not scared of the dark anymore. I don't even have to have my mom there. Okay. Well, that's nice. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I flew back from the great state of Alabama. Holidays are just so much fun down south. Oh, dude, I wanted to tell you about this fucking... So I went uh, I went golfing mm-hmm. a couple days before Christmas. Did you see any alligators? No gators on the course. Damn. Uh, we saw some wildlife, but it was the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. I, so I went by myself, played a couple holes. Like, the ground is frozen, so there's not many people out. Mm-hmm. And then, like, like, the sixth hole or something, this old dude comes running out of the woods, like, running at me. Like, comes up to me, gets right next to me, and he's like, hey, can I play with you? <laughs> so is he, like, like <laughs> out of breath? Oh yeah, he was like, <laughs> it was like an old, he's like sixty something, big beard, but I was like, yeah, sure, like whatever, that's cool, and I swear to God, he's like, all right, cool, and then pulls down his pants and starts pissing next to me. Why? Well, <laughs> <laughs> what happened next was a lady you sucked it. <laughs> yeah, I sucked his dick off. Nice. I I jerked that guy off in the nice, woods, dude. Got no, you. A, a lady pulled up in a cart, and the guy was like, I'm playing with him, and the lady's like, Jesus, all right, and it was uh. Event, she pulled me aside and she was like i'm his caretaker he has uh. he has dementia <laughs> so like you don't have to play with us he asks everyone <laughs> and normally people like leave because it's annoying to play with them <laughs> so i played the rest of the day with this dude his name was chris nice full dementia literally the funniest person i've ever hung out with in my life did you get him on the patreon I don't. I don't think he's. We getting... need more people with dementia on the Patreon because they'll think... forget to cancel it. <laughs> yeah, I think most of the people on our Patreon already have dementia. They're on their way. It was so fun. No matter where he, he was, like nice. So he like plays every day. I like asked him. I was like, "How much do you play?" He's like, "I come out a couple times a week." And his caretaker was like, "We're here every day." <laughs> <laughs> it's like he doesn't know we come every day. Damn. Is he... it his caretaker or is it his lady? It's his caretaker. Okay. He has a wife at home. But, uh, but she, the caretaker, it's like old black lady. She just drives the cart. Uh, he hits the ball. He's like nice, but like sometimes it'll go into the woods. Sometimes it goes in the fairway. But no matter what, where it goes, he goes, uh, oh, I wanted to get it on the green so I could get a birdie, but I didn't. <laughs> like, on sorry. every hole? Every hole. <laughs> and then no matter what, no matter what, he was like, I'm going to pick or I'm going to take a drop. He would walk to the green, put a ball right by the hole, <laughs> tap it in. And go, all right, I got a birdie. <laughs> it was, he would yell at her. He'd be like, put me down for a birdie. He'd be like, all right, Chris. She didn't have a scorecard. <laughs> Literally no one keeping score. He just gets done. He's got Kim Jong-un scores every day. That's exactly what yeah. I said. Yeah, I was like, he got four hole-in-ones. <laughs> He's like, Chris, you golfed another 36. Unbelievable. I mean, this guy needs to be on the tour. He was so fun. He was spitting constantly. <laughs> like he was just curse. He was a degenerate. He peed four times in front of me. Nice. Uh, That's gonna be my parents in a few years. I think it's just gonna be my dad with dementia golfing every day, <laughs> and my mom chasing him around in the cart. <laughs> he would constantly. He would get mad and he would slam his club down on the ground <laughs> like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Chris is a man. Yeah, shout out to Chris. I hope he's watching. <laughs> I hope he's doing well. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I asked him, how does Santa not have dementia yet? <laughs> About a million years old. Yeah. Brain got to be toast. When they come out with him. Santa? Yeah. When when did he drop? I think he was 
Santa was here before Falcons. Yeah, we were saying Falcons weren't at medieval times. Oh yeah, was that before the podcast? Yeah, well, that was. Sometimes I forget, dude. <laughs> you just sit down on the couch, and I'm supposed to be. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> hey we're doing a show. I wanted to have a falcon, but Welcome I didn't. Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, um, I don't know. No, Santa's like, is it like Nordic? It's like a couple hundred years old, I think. Santa's got to be pretty old, dude. I think Coke might have come up with him to sell bottles, because that was a big. They were riding the Santa coattails for a while. That makes sense. That's a that's a low stake Reddit conspiracy. I like those. <laughs> I'm into those lately. Those have been firing me up, dude. It's like um speaking of low stakes, steaks in general, like tent steaks. Not like the food steaks. But like the like poles. Steaks were invented by uh big garlic. Big gar for what? For what purpose? To uh to help with like or no wait, wait. I mix, I mix it up. Big Garlic invented vampires. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they teamed up with steaks because steaks was tanking and Big Garlic, uh, somehow they knew a guy and they teamed up and they were like, we need an enemy that we can both share. They manufactured an op. <laughs> 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 I misspoke, dude. Big, big steaks. Big steaks teamed up with Big Garlic. <laughs> I like calling the any company just or anything just just big, big X. Yeah, big X. I mean the idea that there's a big garlic. <laughs> big garlic, but big at least it's people just the stinky Italian guy <laughs> at the top of the fucking chain. People buy garlic at least. No one's no one's bought a steak in seventy five years. Yeah, because fucking because <laughs> they killed Dracula with it. Yeah. It was something like that, or maybe Big Garlic invented it to stop steaks or something. I don't know. <laughs> I think they're following you. Yeah, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's so stupid. No, this is real though. Look that's what I, that's what I asked my family for Christmas. I said steaks. <laughs> I said give me nine wooden steaks and a pallet of garlic <laughs> and a cross. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna ask for that for my birthday. I have a problem with Nosferatu hanging around me this time of year. It would be very funny to be like, <laughs> for my thirtieth birthday, I want. <laughs> A bunch of garlic and some wooden steak and a silver bullet. Yeah, if you ask for garlic and steak, be like, what are you making? That sounds delicious. It's like, no, you got no, me no, fucked no. up. I don't know. <laughs> Incorrect. Hmm. Are we recording? I'm worried. This is... No, this is all... This is the all camera's good. going? Holy shit. All right, we'll restart it and yeah. uh, we'll fucking... All right, let's make a, let's make a phone call. Dude. Are we doing calls? Because we, we took six months off and we have no ideas. Yeah, I mean that's bad. We need we need people to write in. We have one request for a call this week that I want you to do. <laughs> people keep sending me. They're like, "Yo, you'd you'd love to call my boss," and I was like, "I fucking would love to too, dude." I'm out of ideas for him. <laughs> what do you want me to tell him? Someone in the comments on the episode we just posted said, "I have Don Cheadle's brother's number." All right, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Send me that. Yeah, we want to tell him. I need fun stuff, dude. Yeah. Um. All right. If well, anyone has a. Uh, Fucking, does Elvis have any living relatives? Yeah, his wife is still alive. Yeah, get her on the horn. <laughs> Elvis. Yeah, get up old uh, Grace. Pro well, yeah. yeah, wasn't she like 12 when she married him? So Yeah. That makes sense. She's probably 38 now. <laughs> We're going to call her and be like, hey, this is uh, Elvis. I'm yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run that shit back. I'm 150 years old and I'm trying to smash. Call Vegas right now and tell them this is Elvis. I'm trying to return. I want to do a weekend. At the Sphere. Oh, at the dome. Yeah, get the sphere on the phone. We never called the dome. Get the sphere. Okay. <laughs> Call the sphere. <laughs> this is you too. Um, I left my wallet at the sphere. <laughs> this is Bono. I fucking get him on the horn, dude. Okay. Hello. Hi, Ryan. This is Doctor John Easter from the hospital. What hospital? Uh, the one where your baby was born. We got uh bad news. We gave you the wrong baby. You're going to have to return that one. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. What, what hospital was she born at? Uh, Johns Hopkins Hospital. Johns Hopkins? I drove all the way down to Johns Hopkins to deliver my baby. <laughs> it sounds like a guy who cooks with a crock pot. Ryan, your, your actual baby is black. I have good news for you, though. She is healthy, and you can come pick She's her up. She's healthy? Just yeah. come swap them out? Come swap them out. Do I beat you to death before or after I get the baby? Uh, that would be unnecessary. I'm a doctor. <laughs> nah, it feels necessary. I'm a, I'm a 
I'm a man of science, Ryan. <laughs> you send me the address, and I'll come over there and cave your face and let me know. Johns Hopkins Hospital. All right. <laughs> John Hopkins. All right, I'll see you a little bit, faggot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, he always answers the phone. That kind of guy that's always so aggro, but's willing to answer any call. So, yo, <laughs> <laughs> to go from that to I'll cave your fucking face in so quickly. Uh, uh, what a guy! <laughs> we gave you the wrong baby. So sorry. <laughs> Where's John Hopkins Hospital? I meant to say <laughs> Jefferson. <laughs> fucking. I don't know why I said Johns Hopkins. I think that's in like Maryland. It is annoying. He asked you for a like a fact. It's like, bro, He's like, me, yeah, yeah, what fucking hospital? Let me cook, dude. Yeah, let me cook. Dude. <laughs> you have a black baby. <laughs> Your baby's Chinese. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love that dude. Do you, does that happen? I think that does happen sometimes. Like babies getting swapped out. Like you get the wrong one. Does it? It happens at like laundromats. Jamie, can you look that up? <laughs> <laughs> um, up uh, wrong baby hospital. It, like, damn, that would stink. Kind of like laundromats. <laughs> In quotes. And they come with a ticket on them? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I mean, they should probably just start tattooing them at birth property of ryan foster i mean if you so if you take the wrong baby and then you raise it for like seven years and then they find out the mistake do you swap back or do you keep the one you um like you already taught this one like yeah, how, to good play, question. how to play darts and i don't know what do you do with a baby yeah i guess there is no trade but like maybe make them fight <laughs> i mean the other baby belongs to another set of parents presumably now yeah, I don't care about them, dude. This is <laughs> to, to, to determine my son, dude. Just the winner of a bo- yeah. a ten round boxing match. I think that's the only way. <laughs> yeah, you. The other family gets a busted and bruised baby. No, I guess. Uh, I guess you got to keep it, dude. Keep the one you got. Yeah. Dance with the one that brought you. Yeah, that's what they say. What, it Kelly, what do you got? Happens all the time. Happens all the time. All the time. (laughs) Anything with no statistics happens literally 20 times a day. (laughs) That's the statistics. Yeah, Jefferson Hospital did Yankee Swap this year (laughs) with Foster's baby. Yeah. He traded it for a toaster. They did fucking, uh, what's Mm. it called? White Santa? Or what's the thing called? Bad bad Santa? No. Dirty? What is it where people swap gifts? White Elephant? White Elephant. White Elephant. Yeah. Nice. White Santa, white elephant, whatever. Who <laughs> gives a fuck? White ever. <laughs> white Iverson. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. Uh, We're on top of it. it. Thank you for calling GameStop. I can help you. Hey, who is this? Uh, who is this? Uh, this is Scooter with Corporate. Uh, I was oh, trying to my reach... bad. I'm so sorry. I, I, uh, this is Abe. Uh, Abe, hi. Talking. How are you? I am doing great. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I, I'm calling from Corporate. Um, I, I think you were the one I was supposed to reach out to. I just wanted to let you know um, we got a truck on the way out there. Uh, we're going to be dropping off the scarecrows uh, for you uh, later on this uh, afternoon. It should be about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, and they'll okay, be out sir. there. Uh, okay, sir. Um, is it what kind of truck is it? Uh, I'm not sure who the who the uh, the delivery company is going to be, but I, I, I it says here like four or five scarecrows. I, obviously, you're aware of the problem the store's been having with. Uh, like crows outside the building, and uh, it says, I, I, I got one review saying that you had crows inside, um, and obviously that's that's bad for business, so we're just giving you like five or six scarecrows. Um, we're going to post a couple up outside the front door. Is there a way you could get one of them on the roof? Um, I don't know. I don't know, because uh, we're at a, like a little, uh, what is this, a town center mall, sir. I see. Okay, so yeah, you wouldn't be able to have roof access at that location. Okay. Right. Um, okay. Well, then, yeah, we'll do two out front, two scarecrows out front, and then I guess like if you could find a spot in the lobby to post up the rest of them. It's just this time of year we really, you know, we want to be uh, sales driven, and uh, this type of, you know, like like birds in the lobby, we we can't have that. So. Who um not not to uh, cut you off? Who said we ever had birds? Because I haven't seen any birds since our 
Sorry, I have sorry, sorry. several reviews, one and two star reviews here saying that birds outside, crows specifically, um, but also inside, people are in there trying to play game. They're trying to play like the Super Mario RPG demos, and there's just crows all over the place. I, I thought it was weird too, but yeah, we've had. Are you talking about birds or people? People. No, people left the reviews, but they're complaining about crows in your store, Abe. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. I was just so lost because I'm just trying to understand it. Okay. I Are you not aware of the? I mean, we've gotten several of these issues that have been escalated to corporate. No, because uh, I know my uh, Junie, the assistant manager that was just here. She never told anything. Like she just left. I think she she's the one nothing. I spoke with earlier. Uh, this would have been uh, like two days ago, but she, yeah, she mentioned crows outside the store, um, but also like in the back, like in the storeroom. There was crows. Uh, we'll probably need a scarecrow back there as well. I mean, that's why, you know, we're sending you like five or six of the things. So we, we just want to nip this thing in the bud. You know how it is. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, keep your eyes out. Uh, the truck should be there in about an hour and a half. Um, okay, sir. If, can you spot, uh, find a spot in the lobby where you can set up a couple seven-foot-tall scarecrows for me? Yes, sir, I will. All right, Abe, thank you so much. I'll check in with you uh, tomorrow afternoon. Um, you can call the corporate line, uh, the help desk, if you have any issues setting the scarecrows up, and uh, I'll be looking for your call. All right, sir. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. No, no problem. Bye-bye. Dude, that might have been my favorite one ever. <laughs> This the idea. Uh, God damn, he bought in so so hard. It's like it's just weird because I haven't seen like any crow. <laughs> He's like, sir, I, he called you sir. <laughs> <laughs> he kept calling you sir. <laughs> Being like, yes, sir, I understand. It was fun. like at the very beginning, it was like I was like, who is this? He said, who is this? And immediately when you say corporate, they're like, oh shit, my bad. Like he's like, yo, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yes, sir. <laughs> God damn! I can't wait till he asks uh, assistant manager, whatever her name is, about the crow. Be like, why you ain't tell me about the crows? <laughs> you talked to Scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Scooter said. He- <laughs> 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 uh, this is incredible. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, it's good. Good to, be- good to be back in the saddle. <laughs> This show makes people look so insane. I love it. <laughs> I always think about the the fucking lady at the Burger King, just telling her manager, being the like, "Fat midget hands," <laughs> telling them. Like, I just imagine her going over to the corner and sweeping for no reason. <laughs> being like, the guy with the roller coaster said, "I gotta clean this." <laughs> he coming in to build a roller coaster. Oh, they be like, "What the fuck are you talking?" <laughs> It's unbelievable. Oh, dude, dude, it's all it's all about the fifth dimension. <laughs> yeah, we're here living in the present, dude. Fucking, I guess the fourth dimension is old uh, Abe there, and then the fifth dimension is whoever he's explaining it to after. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 dude. We've made it out of the funny papers. We're in the third right now. Yeah, fourth. Who? Yeah, I, I mean. Uh, it is kind of sad. Imagine how many conversations like that we've missed out on. Oh, no. I mean, so many of them, they're just like, yeah, that was some asshole being a jokester. But Dude. for every one of those, there's one that's like salamanders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got salamanders coming. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hmm. um, Dude, I want to, we were talking about this the other day. I think in 2024, the goal for the Patreon should be we get some uh, some Google glasses or some type of glasses that can record, and we just go into, like, Petco's and just fuck with people in real life. Mm. I'd be down for that. I think that's the plan. Just kidnap animals wearing Google glasses? Yeah. They just like, Google glasses? Google glasses? <laughs> Google glasses? I want to grab a, a goldfish and throw it at a cashier <laughs> for the Patreon. I want to eat a goldfish in front of them. Just see the horror <laughs> on their face. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm down. Yeah, that's yeah. the plan. Yeah, let's let's just get arrested. Let's get booked, dude. <laughs> Who cares? Hello. Hey, is this Chris? Yeah. Hey, Chris, this is Bruce Lagoon. You got you got reference to us for some uh, for a job offer. Uh, you got a second to talk? Uh, 
Um, I'm a little busy right now, but um, yeah, if it's quick, I can talk real quick. Yeah, I mean, real quick, the details we got for you. So uh, one, of you, one of your buddies told us you were looking for a job, and we're doing some uh, fundraising work where we're just calling people, we're giving them surveys, we offer them $20, um, and then, yeah, that's all you'd really have to do. You would just have to call people, give them this promo code, ask them a few questions, and, uh, yeah, the $20 we give out, it's a buyback program with another company, so we, in turn, get $40 from that, and we're using that to uh, raise funds to build a water slide for Israel. So oh, all, fuck all, that. Fuck that. What do you mean, fuck that? All you would have to do, brother, is just make some phone. <laughs> <laughs> what a beast. <laughs> right side of history. You know? <laughs> it's so funny to like listen to that whole thing. <laughs> it's like survey. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And oh, it's a pyramid scheme. Got it. Still interested. <laughs> <laughs> and then water slide for Israel. <laughs> fuck that. Fuck that. Free yeah. Palestine. <laughs> Chris is a beast. <laughs> um, we're gonna try and call Chris again for you one day, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a wild idea. We're gonna get that guy on the horn in a month or two. Oh, uh, it sounded like he was driving. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I like that guy. I think both sides need a wa water slide. I think both sides do need a water. Slide. <laughs> I think that would help a lot. That's how that's how the uh, refugees are getting across the border. Do you know that? What water slide? <laughs> yeah, it's just a tarp that's oiled up with. Uh, I don't know, what do you? Did you ever do like a dish soap <laughs> thing back in the day? Oh yeah, there's a video <laughs> of me on Facebook that's pretty embarrassing. It's just me and my boys sliding down tarps <laughs> and like this rules. We're like 13. <laughs> it's pretty gay. It's good stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, dude, that's cool. Yeah, it's real in Palestine. Gotta chill. <laughs> yeah, they're still doing it. <laughs> Why are they still doing that, dude? It's like, yo, y'all are. They're they are bugging. It would be cool to go over there and have a baby with one lady from each side and then just check back in in like 20 years. Yeah. Be like, what's up with those guys? That, they swap the babies. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. I'm naming my Israeli baby Scooby Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down, dude. Write it down. <laughs> yep, that's the one. <laughs> Uh, Ruh -ruh. <laughs> Ralestine? <laughs> Alright, we gotta get out of this. American Fireworks. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. This is Neon Silky. Um, I'm, I'm hoping you can help me. I'm just looking around at different uh, fireworks shops. Um, the, the issue I'm having, my my brother's doing a big uh, like New Year's Eve party. We're trying to do fireworks for that, but he told me that, that actually I'm I'm not invited to his party because I'm always like pulling like pranks like goofing on my on my brother and stuff. You feel me? Uh huh. So um, I guess like my question is like now I feel like I have to do like a huge prank on him. Um, <laughs> like so I was thinking maybe like if I got a bunch of fireworks like figure out like what's the loudest craziest firework I could set off in his kitchen. Ah. Uh... None of them. Well, what do you mean? If you want, like, you could do, like, booby tra traps, uh, booby tra maybe that's a blocks. Firework? It's not a firework. It's like a prank thing. You no, I want to I fire off, like, a like a fucking bottle rocket, like one of those big ones that explodes and it turns into, like, Big Bird in the sky or whatever. I wanna I'm going to not recommend that. On I what can't. Grounds? I'm not... Because you're gonna blow up his house. Well, no, like I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have my cousin's a volunteer firefighter, so he'll be on scene in case there's any. Um, uh, well, you know, like if it if if it gets like saucy, but I, I, I don't think it'll be like that. I think I read that you can shoot off fireworks inside, and it's fine. I read that. I uh, I'm gonna just gonna. I'm gonna have to say I can't help you with that. I'm so sorry. That just sounds dangerous and reckless. I can't make a recommendation. But and if like I told prank. my boss, it doesn't matter if it's a prank. It's a joke. Like, it's not, I'm not, I'm joking. I'm confused. No, I'm being serious with you. Like, I'm, 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 like, I want to do fireworks in my brother's house, but it's a prank. Like, he'll, like, laugh. He'll think it's funny. I guess my best recommendation is to go to American Wholesale Fireworks YouTube and take a look at some of the videos 
and to decide which one's the right size. But that's about all that that's all I can say because there's literally not one firework that we sell that actually ignites that I would recommend for this. What's like the worst case scenario if I like shot off like ten huge fireworks in this kitchen? I would recommend firecrackers if I had to make one. Okay. Are those are like smaller or what's the deal? Because I'm trying to go big. I want the neighbors to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I can't. I it's can't, funny, right? I, yeah, it's it's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. But objectively, that's it's why, hilarious. That's what, I got to prank. I have to prank. Where are you located? I'm uh, I'm in Columbus. Ohio? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would say that you should. Just I don't even come know if the damn things George. are legal here, actually. So we're we're open. So they're legal in Ohio, and tomorrow's actually a legal shoot date. I would recommend just coming up to our store because either way, you would have to order online and come pick up, or you would have to come to the store and choose it out of the showroom, anyways. I see. Okay. Um. Right. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna. Uh. I'm gonna. F- I'm gonna see what uh see if I can find someone nearby that has like ideas for like like big ones that work inside that won't like you know burn the place down or whatever. But um, you've been really helpful. I appreciate it. Yeah, you have a good one. Yep. Happy New Year's. You too. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. She was with it. I'm not convinced on that. <laughs> no, she. The more and more you went on, the more she got with it. She was like, <laughs> "All right, my one recommendation: firecracker." <laughs> You can probably get away with those. Mm. <clears throat> Did you you remember the little poppers that mm-hmm. you like th- like throw at your boys? Yeah, I hated those. Yeah, always spooky. Yeah. Uh, uh, the funny thing with those is to put them under a toilet seat. You ever seen that? I think so. We used to do like ketchup under toilet seats. That was always funny. Ketchup? Like ketchup packets. Brandon Ketchup Wilson. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you put a ketchup packet under a toilet seat, it like squirts ketchup all over the back of their legs. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's classic. That was always fun. Um, I remember my friend Dylan used to shoot bottle rockets out of his ass. That was always <laughs> funny. <laughs> that made me laugh every time. Bottle. I think I forgot that word. Did I say bottle rockets? Yeah. What are the big ones? Is that? Like a Roman candle or like the, an M80. Yeah. M80. Those are, like, big for, like, backyard shit. I don't know what, like, the big fucking display ones are. The ones they do at, like, Disney World. Or yeah, like I don't know what the fuck games. those are. Yeah, dude. I want it to look like Philly's World Series and my boys. In the kitchen. In yeah. the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, that she one stunk. It. Whatever. No, that was fun. That made me laugh. That's what it's all about. Let's, uh, let's do another one. Yeah. Oh, hi, Puppy. How can I help you? Hi, this is Bruce Lagoon. How are you doing today? Okay. Uh, you guys sell puppies, correct? Yes. What uh, What's your cheapest puppy that you have available? Um, currently, our cheapest puppy is. Double okay. check real quick. Um, our cheapest puppy is eleven ninety nine plus tax. Eleven dollars and ninety nine cents. No, like one thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars. Uh, that's an expensive uh project. My. I mean, do you guys uh, do other animals there, just puppies? No. Yeah. Hmm. What I'm trying to do is I have an army of praying mantises right now, and I'm trying to – I want them to eventually be able to fight big dogs. And I need to – they've already – they beat every rat I put in front of them. I think they're big enough to take down – or the army is big enough to take down a chicken at this point. I think next step is a puppy. But okay. eleven nine eleven ninety nine is a lot to just throw one out there to fight my praying mantises. Yeah, I have to be honest with you. I so you're saying that the praying mantises are killing the animals? Uh, no, they're just fighting them. They're rats. They the praying mantises have boxing gloves on. They're throwing uppercuts at mice. I think okay. they're big enough to take a puppy down. Okay. Right. But I don't, I don't know. I guess there's really no okay. way to there's really no way to find out for eleven ninety nine. That's expensive. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I wish you a happy New Year. Yeah, you too. All right. Bye. Thank you. 
It does feel bad. Doing I didn't like that one as soon as I started saying it. <laughs> doing, doing the dumbest calls on the most exhausted woman. <laughs> She's like, so you're praying mantises are killing dogs? I was like, no. <laughs> Boxing gloves? <laughs> the rats. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was good. That was re- that would make me laugh really hard. <laughs> that was very fun. Just like... Her- I mean, she's, like, morally appalled, but she didn't let you, (laughs) like, she didn't give you anything. She was just like, that doesn't sound good. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) She wasn't pumped on that at all. (laughs) An army of praying men. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Dude, let's do more. I'm having a good time. I wonder how much, like, I remember there's, like, a website where you can buy, like, crazy bugs. Like, you can, like, order a tarantula for your boys. Or you can get, like, a bag of bees just sent to your friend's really? house. Yeah. <laughs> that was a thing back in the... I'm, I'm sure that website still exists. You can just order weird bugs. Look that up, dude. Let's get Naeem a millipede. <laughs> yeah, let's get him a bag of bees. Hang on. What's it called? Hell, I'll send Naeem a bag of bees for right now. Big, buy bugs online. Live pet insects. How much for a bag of bees? <laughs> uh, like scorpion. No, bees. Flies. I don't know if you can... I mean, they have jumping spiders. Okay, a proper jumping spider is $16. $15.99. No, send them... How much for a bag of bees? <laughs> <laughs> House flies, dude. Getting house flies and just <laughs> emptying them in your friend's house is nuts. Uh, pet habitat starter kit. This is disgusting. No, dude, it's just good. I'm gonna buy you a damn. What'd you What'd you want for Christmas? Didn't you want a scorpion? Manises, right there. There you go. Oh, right, really? Shop manises. Oh What's yeah. <laughs> That's a. Giant mantis, sixteen dollars. Damn, that's not bad. Giant Asian mantis. Yeah, I might get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I need a whole army. <laughs> I need a thousand of them. Yeah, I mean, three of these could beat up a a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> things are enormous. <laughs> All right, we're getting Naeem a giant praying mantis. Hmm. Dude, I'll I'll eat a fucking mantis. I don't give a damn. I really am going to send him a bag of bees. I swear to God. It's so funny. All right. Let's call this 18-wheeler. Hello, beverages. Hey, how are you doing? I'm calling about the Volvo that I saw online. Yeah. Can you hang on just a second? Yeah, of course. Hello. Hey, I'm calling about the Volvo that's listed online. Is this the right place? Uh Uh-huh. Hey, can, can you give me a little bit about the vehicle? Is this an 18-wheeler, or is it? Yeah, it's an 18-wheeler. I, I, I suppose you're calling wanting somebody to help you, or you let them advertise with you or something. No, I'm I'm interested in purchasing the vehicle. I you mean, if we didn't could... know it was an 18-wheeler? It it was sent to me by by a friend. I, I told my friend I was looking for kind of a big rig, and uh, and, and this came okay. across my desk. I, okay. I, so what do you need to know about it? How how uh, do you know top speed for this thing? No, I mean it goes sixty five seventy, but I don't know how fast it goes. Okay, and are there any ramps I could take it off of? Oh yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I fucked up. That guy was such a dick right off the bat. <laughs> He's like, what are you fucking retarded? Yeah, it's an eighteen wheeler. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't tell. <laughs> I could only see like seven wheels in the picture. <laughs> you, you're calling me and you don't know that it's an eight. <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, what do you want to know about it? <laughs> <laughs> Call the chickens guy. I'm going to ask him if they're chickens. <laughs> Yo, those chickens! Yo, you're telling the birds. <laughs> Are those chickens? chickens? Oh, fuck. Thank you for calling Duomichi. How can I help you? Yeah, this is Loogie Thompson. I was in there last night, 
It's me and my wife. I, I've been going to do Amici for the past 10 years. We go once a month. And I went last night, and we, uh, I got the chicken parmesan. I came home. I put my feet up on the ottoman, and one of my one of my toes fell right off of my foot. And it was it had to have been the chicken parm. I did nothing nothing new in my in my ordinary routine. So my you're big, telling me that your my, big toe fell off of your foot? Big when toe. You got home from the chicken parmesan. I think it was the chicken parmesan. It had to have been. Okay, I'm gonna get you a minute. Give me my big time. toe is it just slid right off of my foot, right off the bone. Okay. <laughs> they hung up. <laughs> Damn, that idea was good though. I like that. We were gonna wait for the <laughs> once the manager got on and just like <laughs> Just ignore the big toe. It's like, we came in last night. It was delicious. I wanted to call and say thank you. <laughs> After the manager had been prepped for big toe laws. Um, I mean, the, the calls today have been exceptionally stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> A water slide. Fuck that. <laughs> Foster's baby. Not happening. <laughs> GameStop Scarecrows, no good. No that dice. was the best one. No dice. <laughs> that was the best one. GameStop Scarecrows. Oh, God. Can we try and return a Christmas tree? <laughs> yeah. Is that... Would they even answer the phone right now? <laughs> Christmas is over, and I, I have the receipt. Yeah. I just got out of jail. I need a Christmas tree. Do you have any left? <laughs> I'm sure they have some. Uh... Wait, do they? I'm sure the Christmas trees that don't get bought, do they use them for other stuff, or do they just incinerate yeah. them? Yeah, uh, Easter trees, Fourth of July <laughs> trees. You can get them at a real bargain right now. That's other holidays. <laughs> you can probably return one. Try back. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, y'all have a lost and found? Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe you could take a peek for me. This is Scooter Borealis. Uh, I was in there last night, and uh, I, uh, I I can't find my motorcycle. I think oh, I was really? in... Yeah, I was in there. We were doing shots, and I uh, I was ripping ass on that thing. I think I left it in the bar somewhere. Uh, I don't see a motorcycle anywhere here. Could you look? It was, I, it was definitely inside. I was letting dudes play on it. It's a Yamaha. Like a little, like one of the little tiny ones? Negative. No. Full-size diesel. I was I was doing backflips on it last night in the bar. Okay. Yeah, no, there's no motorcycle here. Did you look? Yep. You promise? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yep, that was it. Okay. This is the last episode. <laughs> no, dude. We will rise. Oh god damn We're gonna call that guy uh, <laughs> Fucking whatever the fuck his name is next week Who, uh, <laughs> Booker McGraper Yeah whoever <laughs> Somebody else Oh god uh, Well this has been a It's been a real hoot and a half What are you doing for New Year's? Uh, Gall and Co dude Oh yeah Philly comedy New Year's bash Yeah it's gonna be a good time I'll be there I forgot Me about that and all the boys We're shooting off Fireworks inside Gall and Co. Yes. E- everyone bring fireworks. We're light Danny dubs on fire. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. We're gonna strap Danny to a damn. <laughs> strap Danny to a bottle rocket and send him to Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> be perfect. Hell yeah. We will witness him. Yeah. <laughs> witness? Yeah, that's what you say before you blow yourself up and go to Valhalla. Really? You say witness me and then you <laughs> blow yourself up. Did you learn that in God of War? Uh, Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, 2024, year of the bazooki. Year of the bazooka for sure, dude. Eat your damn black-eyed peas and your collard greens. We'll be in a Petco live throwing fucking 
goldfish at the cactuses. Oh, we're trying to come do stand up in your city this year. So would love to do that. Please let us know if you want us to come tell jokes at a bar near you for you and fifteen of your yeah. friends. <laughs> you got a couch to stay on, we'll be there, brothers. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. See you later. Peace. Mm. That was a good time. Real fun. Real front loaded. It's a big house.